Okay, this is just a quick look at uh, how to mirror objects using the Rube editor because uh, it's a little bit awkward to explain in text and I haven't uploaded a video to YouTube for a while, so here goes. Um, so what we could do is let's grab this guy and <clears throat> so all you do is uh, select the bodies that you want to mirror and the bodies and any revolute joints that are connecting them will be duplicated and mirrored <coughs> only horizontally but you can uh, rotate them either before you duplicate them or after you duplicate them to um, fix that. So if I put the cursor here and then I do shift M you'll see that uh, only the things I've selected have been mirrored across there. So if I'd selected these two and I want to mirror them across that way it would be like that. So that's about it really. Um, but I just thought that was a lot easier to explain this way rather than writing it down in text. So if we run that, you'll see that we have Revolute joints there working okay. Uh, half a body here. Yeah, so that's about it. But one more thing I wanted to mention was that uh, if you try that with static bodies, so for example, um, where is it? That's not it. One of these bodies in here is, there we go. This one is the, the ground body. So I just wanted to have a look at mirroring static bodies because there's a little hiccup uh, that I haven't quite figured out a way to fix. And that is, first we'll copy this, uh, we'll mirror this and see how it works. I just selected the ground body there and I'm going to put the cursor over here. And then I'll do Shift M. So now we have a duplicate of the world or the ground fixtures over this side and that's mirrored. But when we switch back to the world, uh, I should say the test bed, the running test bed, and we turn on the AABBs, we'll see that the AABBs did not get uh, updated. Um, so <coughs> one way you can fix that is I'll just go back into the editor again, uh, select the body that you duplicated and just go over into the body settings, change it to dynamic, apply body settings, and then right away change it back to static and apply body settings. So now it will be static again, but when we switch back to the world, uh, sorry, when we switch back to the running test bed, we'll see that the um, AABVs are updated where they should be. So if you do that, change it to dynamic and static right away, you should have no problems. If you change it to dynamic and then you accidentally switch back to the running test bed, you'll find that the what you expect to be the world body will fall off the bottom of the screen. So try not to uh, leave it as a dynamic body when you switch back to the test bed. Okay, have fun.